the future of warfare is all going to be dependent on drones. Humans will be out of the picture very soon in wars. The Defense Research and Development Organization has been working on different kind of drones. The drone you see here is called a gun on drone or God. This has been developed by the Defense Young Scientist Laboratory for asymmetric technologies which is based in Hyderabad. I have with me scientist Avadesh and Mr. Ganesh, both scientists who have developed this gun on drone. Uh, Avadesh, what is this gun on drone? Can you tell me more details? Then I'll come to you, Ganesh. Yeah, this gun on drone system, which has a cap which has a capability of search, detect, and target the and neutralize the air target as well as the ground target. It has a gun mounted here, which is developed by our sister laboratory ARD. This is called JVPC carbine gun. And this system can fly up to 40 minutes and goes up to 4 kilometers and come back. So total uh, distance it can cover to and fro is 8 kilometers. What and is the endurance for this drone? Endurance is 40 minutes and it has an onboard camera which, which helps us to give the live video feed and give the situational awareness. It is also zeroed with the gun barrel that help us to target, neutralize the target in the frame. Now, whenever you fire a gun, yeah. every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Yes, now, when you have a drone, yeah. it is an unstable environment in the air. How do you uh, calibrate or take care of the recoil? So, we have developed the recoil man uh, management system. We have uh, calculated and estimated the all the require which this gun can generate based on these uh, calculations we have designed this uh, gimbal which has the inbuilt springs that that gun is mounted on a slider whenever it uh, gun fires it comes back and again goes to same position because it is made because of these spring which is uh, designed by us. Now, what caliber uh, bullets does it fire and how, uh, what is the distance to which it can fire? It has the lethal range, like uh, lethal range of 200 meter. It's a caliber of 5.56 mm. Now, Ganesh, how much time did it take to develop this uh, drone and have you tested it? Uh, it took us one one year nine months to com to develop a complete pro functional complete prototype. So tested it is a in house tested we have a very good area. It's uh, statically tested and also dynamically tested. So many rounds of testing has been done, and the accuracy of 100 meters we have achieved for a CAP of 50 centimeters for CAP 50 centimeter. Now. Is it, is it still under research and development or is it a technology which is ready for deployment? It is ready for deployment. We have already got the requirement from the army for 10 number for the uh, field trials. So this has the, also has the two axis gimbal. It can move left and right in azimuth minus 65 to plus 65. It has the elevation gimbal also which can move minus 10 degree up to plus 45 degree down. Now, can it work only during the day or does it have also night vision capability? So we are still, uh, we still want to, uh, uh, this uh, camera we have not mounted yet, but we are in process to mount the night vision camera. Now, this camera, when it is flying, yeah. will it be able to fire autonomously or does somebody have to control the firing from uh, the back end? So yeah, we, right now we are using operator in the loop for firing. We cannot do firing automatically due to certain ethical reasons. And uh, it has uh, automatic uh, tracking system. Whenever user select the target, drone can track that target and follow it and uh, maintain the po it position itself like that 
uh, that target will come into center of the frame so we can uh, neutralize it so is this is this uh, drone also developed by your laboratory or is it a commercial drone this 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 drone is uh, totally developed by our lab but we are taking from uh, outside also Come. and the gun is developed by ard you say yes sir and, and how, how many rounds have you fired from this yeah we we can fire in two mode what is single mode and one is burst mode it has the th capacity of 30 bullets so we have uh, done testing for both the modes it can fire uh, with the six round uh, six round per minute so within two three seconds it it can fire all the bullets and that we have tested also so is it is it exciting to work on asymmetric technologies definitely and we have a uh, agenda we have a lot of other technology we are working on swarm technologies rat cyborgs and so many what are rat cyborgs rat cyborgs like we can use the electrodes to control the movements of the rat in general it is the uh, we can control the movements of the rat now what do we do uh, we, it can move left and right or front and back and we can give the comments remotely so we can use it as a spy we can mount uh, camera on the back of the rat so it is a real rat not not a robotic rat exactly but still it is under development the electronics have been developed and small small movements has been realized so, so interesting work at asymmetric technologies lab definitely it is really good and interesting so like we are not completely fixed on a single line of technologies we can work on a wide range of technologies and our disciplines are uh, not a single it's like interdisciplinary mechanical computers electrical electronics aerodynamics so many now the name of this drone gun on drone on uh, um, acronym becomes god so are you young scientists becoming the future gods of warfare uh, yeah, we are developing a such a technology which helps our defense forces in asymmetric way. We can, that has the surprise element, the innovation and the new technology which and that it, uh, it can, uh, we are developing the technology which is uh, in technological gap, a small technology which has the bigger effect. Fascinating work. How soon will we see it? in action in the field yeah we have already got the uh, requirement from the army we are uh, under discussion with the industry for the production of this system it is already yeah how much does it cost it uh, it is this system is cost around 30 to 50 lakhs depend on what capability we need and can it also be connected to satellites for satellite communication and for because in remote areas you may not have uh, communication or direct site communication yeah R right now we have not uh, 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 um, uh, configured the satellite but uh, still whatever cots item we are using it has the more than 20 kilometer of range which is two or three times more than the uh, actual uh, range of the drone you are happy with your work? Yeah, uh, we are very happy with the work. This is the initiative by our Honorable Prime Minister. We are working on uh, these technology day night and we want to strengthen our tri forces. So that is an understanding of a asymmetric technology gun on drone, acronym going God young scientists delivering to India what we desperately need in future, taking the soldier and reducing the risk for humans in warfare, gun on drone on display and this is the gun which can be used for firing bullets and can be fire up to about 30 bullets in one go in one flight. I'm sure we will see better varieties of these drones with more endurance and better capabilities in times to come with night vision capabilities and the young scientists have ideas which can take India and propel to protect India in a big way. In New Delhi, Pallav Bagla.